So. Yeah, but mine sucks. You know why? Because they're not like, hey, write me a book or like <laughs> box me. They tell me, hey, tell Don't a joke, joke, buddy. <laughs> I go, what? I swear to I was like, ma'am, if I was a doctor, would you want me to perform like a rhinoplasty on yes, you right now? they would. And I, she was like, she just looked at me like it was part of my joke. She's like, that's not funny. I was like, <laughs> I was like, it's just not supposed to be funny. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a joker. You, you, and then I remember they're billionaires. And I was like, okay. Ma'am, <laughs> ma'am, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I want you to know something. You talked shit to the CEO of I did, straight to his face. Because he wasn't joking. Jokingly, jokingly, jokingly. jokingly. Uh, so here's the thing I love and hate about myself. I love the fact that I do not give a fuck who you are and what room you're in. The thing I hate about myself. I do not give a fuck about <laughs> who you are and what room you're in. It has bit me in the ass, but luckily this trip it has it. So there was a guy at the end of the table who's very quiet. He's just kind of like standing there looking like this. Very, very good looking man. No, nothing wrong with him. But as a joke to open up and make him feel more comfortable, I said, you, hey, stop fucking talking so much, buddy. Because <laughs> like he wasn't saying anything. And then his, his, like his like friends, like, and this is what I love. When you hang out with very powerful people, they don't make any emotion until they all assume. They look at each other, they're like, are we going to laugh at this? Are we going to laugh at this? Or should we, should we kill him and drink his blood? And then I was like, no, I'm not a baby. We can't do that here. And they're like, okay, that won't make us younger. So what we'll do is we'll just laugh at you. And he goes, ha, 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 ha. I created no, we found out after the fact. Yeah, no, no, that was the true story. He goes, you know that guy you just almost assaulted? And I was like, yeah. He goes, he, he owns 20 and billion. I, 20 billion. Yeah, 20 billion. Yeah, he nice. said, no, 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 he said 20. And I go, 20 million? <laughs> he goes, 20 billion. And I go, oh. and I go, because I was like, oh, if he, not, I'm not I'm being serious. If he wanted to kill me, think about 20 billion dollars. I'm a bug to his car. Mm -hmm. He's like, that comedian guy, I don't like him anymore. But his bloodline, get them off. Why did you give him that accent? Because I feel like if you're ever going to kill somebody, you sound like that. You know what I mean? Like, that guy, I don't like him. Get to him. <laughs> this year uh, was the greatest year of my life because I finally felt like I found who I am. And I know it sounds like really Same. weird. I yeah, can yeah, see yeah. You, I can see you sinking into your actual say. It's I noticeable. I with the podcast. I know it sounds really cheesy to say because I'm on the podcast. It's, it, it's, and you guys said this to me on the first debrief. It, it, when cameras are on, you stop being yourself. Like it's weird. Like you, you like become this thing mm -hmm. where you want people to like you, which is like very foreign to me. Mm -hmm. And I, I think because of the podcast, because I, every word I say has been held on. Some people will hold me accountable to it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like there's yeah. so many things I changed the way I could like talk. And when I walk into rooms now, I just kind of like I'm like, let's get to the point. What do I need to do? And how do I do it at the best capability? Mm -hmm. So when I put that into my life and I was like, okay, what am I on this earth for? What, what do I really like to do? Forget the money and fame. Like, what do I want to attack? And the, and the podcast spun me into stand-up. Yeah, and yeah. I, I cannot believe it's taking me my whole life to realize that this is what I need to do. Like, I love grabbing the mic and, and making people laugh, like in small rooms. Put me in front of a thousand people or five thousand people, having a whole room laugh and I could just feel people's tensions leaving their mm. shoulders. They're, they're here, they're laughing, no one's stressed. Like, and I was like, wow, this is what I really want to do. Mm. And the movie came out. I got invited on this beautiful podcast. I went from just producing skits online to like actually having it a purpose with my skill set. And it's changed my life. So yeah. I appreciate you guys having me. Bro, on you you crush it. I mean, the, the it's it's pretty clear that the audience loves you. We love you, and it's 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 like you. And 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 also just to the stand up point, really quickly, it's it's admirable to see how much time you practice. Like he's practicing constantly. He practices in real life. Yeah, which is awesome. And and I've been, <laughs> I've been, I I've, I've been telling him because obviously, like my energy's hella low. I, I, like laughing sometimes uh, um, when you're forcing yourself to laugh is hard. And so I told him, I said, George, this trip, no free pity no laughs. Free pity laughs. <laughs> I ain't pity laughing. Like normally he makes a joke. I want to support my boy in a room. Maybe he doesn't hit. You and I will be like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the energy to do that. <laughs> so now he's got to step his game up. This week. It's, and you've been doing great. You, you witnessed me uh, hit the reverse card. For the first time. Dude, your Uno reverse cards yeah. are insane. So I, <laughs> I'm i being uh, uh, kind of sculpted or like mentored by Joe Coy. Mm. Uh, my first person I invited on the, on the podcast. And uh, he sat me down and he goes, I want you to start aiming uh, to like kind of like, like not fuck yourself up, but like how are you going to get yourself out of like a, a situation? So now they'll see me like if I, if I have a new group around me, I'll, I'll kill a joke. As soon as it's high, fold, walk away. Have them wanting more. But he saw me walk up to a group of, like, we could, these guys could have been billionaires or whatever they were. And I walked up and I said, it just like a really funny joke because they all looked like me. 
I said, why does it look like I belong on this table? And all of them just drop the thing and they look at me and they go, tell us why. This is when I left. And I, and I literally, I, I, like, I saw Logan's energy from over here. He wasn't looking. He just goes and just like walks, like walks around. And I literally was, and I said it as I'm walking too. It wasn't like I stood there to talk. And I was like, all right, this is where I, uh, this is where I stick around until I win. <laughs> and so I stood there and I looked at him and I go, because they all have a beard. With my hairstyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brown as fuck. Yeah, you weren't wrong. They but, look but, like my relatives. But right off the rip, again, this is not the place where you just like say shit like that to, pe to people. random people. Yeah. 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 No, so that's why I was like, I don't want any fucking part of this, dude. And then I hit the fucking river. I, 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 so it was the one guy who tried to make a joke out of me. So I was like, as soon as I learned this, I was like, all right, so I'm gonna, I have to, I have to kind of come at this dude. <laughs> So I'm like, I'm gonna come at this dude. I was like, well, buddy, it's not our eyelashes. <laughs> and he looked, and then he did this. He did one of these, like, like it kind of got him. And then his boy kind of like, he's like, what the fuck? That was so left field. Then I just kept, I was like, okay, left field jokes work. And I kept hitting the most ridiculous thing until they started laughing. I was like, fuck you guys. And I left. <laughs> and on the way back, they were like, like this to me. And Logan's like, how the fuck did that happen? I and thought I was, surely it was gonna end, uh, end uh, you were gonna end bombing.